Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to hack your PlayStation Classic using a Linux based machine. If you want to do it on Windows or on Mac, feel free to check out those videos and we're going to be using Bleem Sync Hack. Okay, you want a USB stick, make sure it's plugged in, mine is. Also ensure it's USB 2.0 for maximum compatibility. I've tried three USB 3.0 sticks, they did not work. I had to borrow a USB 2.0 stick and that worked fine. So USB 2.0 for maximum compatibility. First, we need to format it. So if we open up our software called disks, go to your USB stick, select the gear icon, format partition, and for the volume name, input Sony, just leave everything else as it is. Just make sure that this is selected FAT, which is FAT32, click format. This will be done in a few seconds. And it's done. It's no longer appearing on the desktop. You need to mount it. So if I click mount, okay, it's all mounted now and we're ready to go. The next thing you want to do is go to your web browser, Google Bleem Sync, or I'll just provide a link to the page. And from here, we need to download the software to hack it. Scroll down, select the Linux version. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to open that up and mine is in the download directory i will delete this folder so i will show it you from scratch so if i extract here for example in here this is where we would add all our games what i recommend doing is adding all your games to you know this folder here and doing everything all the steps i'm about to show you then finally copy it over to your usb stick just because i've had a few issues with one or two of the steps when the files are already on the usb stick due to permissions this will probably just be easier so what you want to do is go to games now this is where you add your games for every new game that you add just create a new folder you know name three four five i think you get the picture then inside that folder you need a folder called game data you can literally just copy one of these as a template because that's all they are though they've got you know these bin and q files they're just empty they don't do anything so what you need is you can ignore the dot lick and this has two sets of bin and q files just to show you the format of a multi-disc game so we'll get rid of this so we do not need these files the only files that we need you know across all our games is the game.ini and the pcsx.config which we will modify we'll modify this in a second and you want to make sure you have your your bin and q files and also alongside the bin and q files you need a png it has to be png cannot be jpeg and this is going to be the cover art that appears on your playstation classic all three files need to be named the same if you can hear some drilling i'm sorry that's next door hopefully it shouldn't be too bad so you need three files bin file q file and cover art they all need to be named the same make sure they have this sort of stock keeping unit this sort of unique id for each game if you have any issues about locating this and you need any help feel free to pop me a message now you want to go to your game.ini edit this in the text editor any text editor you want and here you put all your discs if you have multiple discs you put you know SCUS so it would be the same name as your bin file dash 94900 separated by a comma for your next game I mean your next disc of that game but this is only one disc so that's all we need and now if I put crash bandicoot here crash bandicoot and for publisher I'm going to put naughty dog sorry about that hopefully it's not too bad and for the year 1996 save that and now we're almost ready to go so so the steps for adding a new game is have a new folder called there's another one called two this is just another template folder there's no actual game in there even though it will appear on your PlayStation classic it's not a launchable game not a working game if you go to one or you know whatever folder is game data have a bin, a queue, and a PNG for the cover art. Name them all the same. 
just copy and paste these two files into every single game data file folder that you have for your new games change the game.ini like i showed once you've done any modification whether you're adding a new game you know changing the cover art or anything you want to go to your bleem sync directory here then you need to run this file to run it open up terminal and what we'll do is we'll cd so we'll change directory to this and just do sudo bleem you want to do sudo dot forward slash bleem sync and this is going to run this file which will essentially build a database of all of these games so just input the password it says bleem sync command not found do, 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 do. Why is that being seen? Not command, not found. That is strange. It's still saying okay. If we right click this, go to properties, go to permission, allow executing file as program. Now, if we were to try this command again, as you can see, it's working. So you just got to do that. As you can see, it says added game crash bandicoot to the database and Tony Hawks. Tony Hawks was in that you know folder that was named or labeled too. It's not going to work. It's just a empty template just to show you how to actually add games to it. And that's it. Once you're all done here, now what you want to do is copy all of this. So all of these contents, so, so these five, so it's created a system directory and this is the database that is generated with all of the information. So what you want to do is copy these, so copy it, go to your USB stick and paste it onto here like so. I'm going to switch over to the PlayStation Classic right now, you don't need to see you know me finishing copying this over because the steps are already done if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and if not i'll see you on the playstation classic okay so what you want to do is with the playstation classic make sure it's all you know plugged in you got a controller plugged into slot one the power lead you got the hdmi everything plugged in honestly did these are the official steps to get bleem sync working i've tried it where you know when the console is in a slightly different state and i found it does work but i'm just going to show you the recommended steps so what you want to do is unplug the power cable and now you want to get your usb stick make sure it is usb 2.0 because i have a usb 3.0 here that i tried i tried a couple of of other 3.0 sticks they did not work I read online some people have got some USB 3.0 sticks to work, but I would highly recommend 2.0 just because the compatibility seemed to be better. Okay, so with the USB 2.0 stick, you want to put it in the controller to port because it is literally just a USB port. So let me, it's a little awkward with one hand. Hopefully, I don't break the stick. That's the PSTV light that's just turned on. And now you want to plug the power back in. Okay, so now that the power is plugged back in, wait for the original light to turn back on. Now the, it's, it's sort of, you know, not the nicest on this phone. Actually, you can see the orange light a lot better now. Okay, so with the orange light on, you want to click the power button. And if he flashes green and orange a few times, that's when you know the hack is successful. And what you'll get is this Sony Interactive Entertainment. You'll actually abruptly stop and go to something else. Now you will get your Bleem Sync hacked menu. And on here will be all your games. So we've got Crash Bandicoot. This Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 isn't an actual game. It's just basically an empty bin queue folder with a you know this image on there it's just to show you the format of copying your games over but this one is a legit one 
as I showed you on the you know the first part of the tutorial on the computer if I click X on here now this will load and save states work you can gain to the secret menu you can change the frame rate you can change the region you can you know do all of that stuff you can add scan lines if you really want to as well let me just get it up to the point where we're actually playing it and then I will end this little part here okay so we got Crash Bandicoot so um, as you can see the controller is connected to PlayStation Classic, cl no, classic, classic. click X and it goes onto the menu in Sanity Beach. Can't wait for Crash Team Racing coming out on PlayStation 4 and you know all the other systems as well. Let me just show you you working. X and square. Okay, so that's it for setting up Bleem Sync on your PlayStation Classic. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and I will assist you through the process. And as usual, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome hacky video.